Welcome guys, in this video we are going to see the scenarios where we face null, undefined in JavaScript and we put validations to work with the data. So let's get started. So when we create a variable, by default it is undefined. So here if I say lat name and I'm going to set any value to it, it's going to have that value. But if what if I'm not going to define any value and simply say here console.log and I'm passing name inside it. So this should give us an undefined. So if I refresh here, we get undefined. Now, if you check the type of it, it is going to still going to give us the same thing. So this is the way when you check and you want to know what type of variable you're dealing with. So you just put type of in front of it. So you can check that and this in the same scenario we get the same outcome undefined so by default whenever you create a variable you need to pass a value or assign a value here we can say run now it's a string and we need to get that string so here when we say type of we are getting the type of variable we are dealing with which is string and here we are getting the value of variable now we get the adder, uncode reference error sometimes. And that is also undefined. So what is the difference? Let me show you here. So what I do, if I say here console, uh, let me let's put a variable that I haven't defined. Let's put a age variable. And I save this, and I'm going to go here, refresh. We get uncode reference errors, age is not defined. Now we haven't created this variable neither we assigned any value so we are getting this error so if you create here let age all by doing this we should uh, be having the issue result however the values on the in some cases we use null and uh, we assign null to variables so uh, for example let me first command do and here and let me uh, do this so what i do is say let players and i put it in equal null all right, null is uh, going to be, uh, it's not a value, so null obviously, so it is just kind of placeholder we are providing here. It's not going to be undefined, but it is not going to be any value. So if I say here console.log players, and we have a look what we are getting, we are getting null. And if you put some value here, uh, we get that value. So simply by default, if you want to put uh, some uh, variable, a placeholder, you use null. Now, when we do the validation for null, and uh, if you check, so if I say here, uh, for example, console dot log null, and I check if it is equal to undefined. So what do you think we're going to get? Now, in this case, it is going to return false. So if I need to refresh, we get false. The thing is simple, it is undefined, and null is kind of a placeholder we are using. Here, if I copy and paste here, now in this case, if I remove this and refresh, we get true. This time it is true. Now, if I check the, uh, let me put here console.log, and I'm going to put type of null in the same way I'm going to put the type of uh, undefined now, I want to tell you null is an object so let me show you here so I save this now we're going to check here I'm going to refresh we get object and undefined so here the type is undefined and here object the value null represent the intentional absence of any object value so when you be validating you need to be careful when it is double equal it either turns true as far as the validation is concerned we simply can check any variable by uh, if condition so if i place here if name and then i want to do something i can say here alert uh, name yeah so it's going to return the same way. I'm going to copy the condition and here I'm going to say if h. Now, in case of name, we are going to get uh, the 
uh, alert. So I save this and go here, refresh. First, we get the uh, alert here for run because the variable is there, the value is there. So if I just remove this, so we are just, uh, just need to, let me refresh the page this time. This time it is not working because uh, it is undefined and here if it's only working if there is value. Now the same is happening here. It is undefined, it is uh, not alerting for uh, age here. Let me put this age in alert and let me remove this from here or comment it out. So if you remember we get the reference error. Now this time uh, this is going to fail. This is going to uh, give us the reference error. So if we refresh here, it gives us uncurrent reference error. Age is not defined. So if you're checking for this, if the variable is not defined at all, then this if condition will fail. To check this, so to check this, if we don't have the variable and we want to check that if we define, we simply put here type of and it is going to be, I'm going to put a triple equal and I'm going to check for undefined. Now here, if I uh, save and refresh, the error was still there. We are not going to get the error uh, alert because it is going to alert the age because it is undefined. It's not going to show. Let me show you. Yeah, refresh, we still get the error. So I need to put here something else. So I say undefined because that variable is not set, so it's not going to get uh, alerted. So here, if I refresh, you see that undefined, or you can give a message. So you are successfully. A checking or you can say here age is undefined in refresh you get the age is undefined so yeah that's way uh, you can check for the value and this way you can check for undefined and null so um, if you have player uh, let's say if, if players and then I say alert um, players so players, if you remember, the value is null in this case. Now if I go here and refresh, well, we get, okay, players. Sorry about that, this spelling mistake. So here refresh, and we get age is undefined, which is going here. So player is null, it didn't alert it. And uh, if player is not null, it's going to work. So if you pause here any value, and then you're gonna refresh, you get the value. Hope you got the idea. This is the null and undefined. And uh, empty, if you are checking for empty, you can check for any variable. Basically, when you have array. And let's let's take an example. So I say here, I created an array here. Let me, uh, no, we don't have one. So let's create one. So I say here, let names. I'm going to comment these. And I'm going to put here an array. And here I'm going to pass a name, so I'm going to pass Ron. All right. Now, so we have uh, a name here. And let's say I want to check for empty, that array is empty. So simply you check for if uh, names.length is more than zero. So obviously we have an element, so length of this is going to be more than zero. So here. You need to say here alert uh, array has value. Simple. Save this and refresh. Array has value. Now, what if you're working with a program and you're changing something in there and then uh, you're validating? So, in that case, what we can do, let's say here on top of it, we are going to say uh, let's names dot splice and here I say minus one and remove one value so to remove one value so it's going to remove one value from this array and array has only one value so here I refresh you will see nothing comes up because there is one value this code remove that value we have a validation set and we are checking for it successfully so currently the array is empty so if I uh, simply say here alert uh, names dot length so we should get uh, zero and if you say here console dot log 
and instead of the land, I remove the land this time and go refresh, you get an empty array. So this is how you can check for empty. Yeah, I just put the land there and the count should be. Now I'm here saying more than zero. In case of if you put simply names.land is going to work. Even uh, let me show you. So what I do here, I this is where we are removing the values. I'm just going to comment these two, and here we have the length, right? So I'm going to save this and refresh. We get the alert. So it is checking. Now I remove this, and we are validating. We are not getting alert here. So if name length still working, okay? So basically name long, uh, dot length is going to be more than zero. So if you pass zero in if condition, it is uh, considered as false. So if I save this and refresh here, you won't see an alert. But if you pass any number, so if I say three here, for example, we get alert because any number is counted as true in that case. So you can say seven, it again gets the uh, the value. So basically what happens is it checks, okay, we have a value, we proceed to do the deal, whatever is given inside curly braces. So this is basically how it works. So when you're dealing with the array, you can put a validation as well this way as well. Now you can't do it this way um, because uh, if you're passing the empty array, that not gonna make any choice. It's, it's simply alerting straight away because uh, it's not successfully dealing with it. So you need to pass the length in that case.